not aware of any conversations that have taken place. Uh, the president simply calling out the media bias. No one's defending what she said. The president is the president of all Americans, and he's focused on doing what is best for our country. And you can see that uh, in the actions that he's taken. You can see where he's focused on unemployment being at the lowest since 2000, opportunity investment zones to encourage investment in underserved communities, an opioid initiative to combat a crisis that impacts all Americans. And today, the president signed legislation to give patients the right to try a medication that could actually save their lives. And I'd point out that while the president signed that legislation and actually addressed America, two networks chose not to cover it and instead covered something totally different in palace intrigue, a massive piece of le legislation that had bipartisan support that was uh, life-changing, literally life-changing for millions of Americans. Two networks chose not to cover the president's remarks on that. He's simply pointing out the bias. The president's pointing to the hypocrisy in the media saying that the most horrible things about this president uh, and nobody addresses it. Where was Bob Iger's apology to the White House staff for Jamel Hill calling the president and anyone associated with him a white supremacist? To Christians around the world for Joy Bear calling Christianity a mental illness. Where was the apology for Kathy Griffin going on a profane rant against the president on The View after a photo showed, showed her holding President Trump's decapitated head? And where was the apology from Bob Iger for ESPN hiring Keith Olbermann after his numerous expletive lace tweets attacking the president as a Nazi and even expanding Oberman's role after that attack against the president's family. This is a double standard that the president is speaking about. No one is defending her comments. They're inappropriate, but that's what the point that he was making. We've seen the tweet from the president. We'll throw it up on the screen where he basically uh, makes this about him and, and doesn't say what actually Sarah Sanders did say, that her comments were inappropriate, but then saying it was a double standard, went through all these different attacks. Bob Bob Iger and folks at ABC have had on the president and on Christians, and they're saying, well, where where were the apologies, you know, from, from Bob Iger? David, what did you think? Um, I mean, I thought this was a classic communication strategy to uh, redefine the conversation around this, right? Mm -hmm. the, the White House is not at all interested in uh, talking about uh, Roseanne Barr, a key uh, supporter of the president, and her racist tweet. Uh, they want to make the conversation about uh, a double standard in the press. And she went through a little, I mean, she came completely prepared for this moment, was mm -hmm. reading from it and said, uh, Jamel Hill, Hill, Joy Behar, Kathy Griffin, and the hiring of Keith Olbermann, tick, 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 tick. A fully prepared defense here, but make no bones about it. What they're trying to do is shift the conversation about uh, a racist tweet from Roseanne and ABC saying that goes beyond the yeah. pale to a conversation about a double standard. And, and also, not only was she so transparently trying to shift the conversation, uh, there was a, a big omission there, which is there was no condemnation of what Roseanne Barr said. Uh, even Roseanne Barr is condemning herself <laughs> for those for those comments. Uh, she's and, saying and she's apology. not. I think the, the latest tweet we have from her is that she, she's still defending. She's saying she's not a racist and that it was still a bad joke. I believe it was is about, roughly yeah, what Yeah, exactly. But we haven't saying. heard exactly. And what we heard from the podium was uh, Sarah Sanders say no one's defending these comments, yeah. which may be true, but the president of the United States, who has the, the biggest, loudest megaphone of anybody, is not condemning them either. And that yeah. speaks volumes. Jim Acosta, let me pivot over to you uh, there in the briefing. What, what were you asking there at the end? Well, I tried to ask, uh, where are the president's apologies for all of the things that he has said over the years? Uh, mm -hmm. You know, uh, Sarah Sanders was very careful to point out and turn it back around on the media and asking, you know, why haven't certain personalities at various networks apologized to the president for things that they've said? Uh, but of course, this is a president who launched his campaign saying that Mexican immigrants are rapists. Uh, he has uh, said over the years uh, that, uh, you know, when talking about African-American athletes and calling them sons of bitches, uh, you you know, talking about uh, the violence in Charlottesville, saying that they're very fine people on both sides. Uh, obviously, these are all uh, comments that he's made over the years where people on both sides of the aisle have been clamoring, almost begging the president to apologize for comments that he's made. Uh, you know, you only have to go to a Trump campaign rally once in your life uh, to hear the kind of uh, hostility that he, he generates on an almost daily basis. And so it's a bit much, I think, uh, for the White House press secretary from the podium to 
come out here and try to shame the media and say it's somehow our fault that Roseanne Barr uh, put out this tweet. Uh, the president uh, decided to weigh in on it. One question that was not asked of Sarah Sanders, by the way, uh, was yesterday she said that the president has more important things to do. Well, of course, uh, sometimes there are not uh, more important things than the president's uh, grudges that he, he feels that he has to nurse on a daily basis. And that's why he, he posted that tweet earlier this afternoon going after ABC. Uh, you know, he, he uh, you know, just can't help himself, Brooke. And, and that was in direct uh, you know, uh, that was in direct contrast to what Sarah Sanders told reporters yesterday, that the president had other things to do. And yet here he comes out today and starts tweeting about Roseanne Barr. It just gets to the uh, the lack of seriousness. Forget about the fact that Kim Kardashian is here at the White House today <laughs> and what planet that is uh, anything resembling normal, because it's not. Uh, she shouldn't be here talking about prison reform. It's very nice that she is here, but that, that's not a serious thing to, to have happened here at the White House. But but really, uh, the, that pales in comparison, that level of seriousness pales in comparison to what the president does when he weighs in on the Roseanne Barr tweet, uh, fails to condemn the racism at the heart of her remarks, and then have, having the White House press secretary coming out here and shaming the media and blaming us uh, you know, for, for making all sorts of comments that, that need apologies when they themselves uh, owe the American people uh, plenty of apologies for the uh, things that the president has said over the years. And, and of course, we know uh, past being prologue with this president, those apologies will likely not be forthcoming, Brooke.